Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. I am teaming up with Spot Charity to give you guys an opportunity to sponsor orphans in the Gambia. They are 100% donation, transparent, reliable and sponsoring 300 kids already. Donate to the Orphan Sponsorship Fund today. MashaAllah, I've just seen a video clip of Andrew Tate performing the prayer. This prayer was performed by the previous prophets. As we know, even in the Bible, it mentions that Jesus fell on his face Yeah, when he worshipped Allah, God. Muhammad, peace be upon him, did the same as did the previous prophets. This is the way that we show our gratefulness and appreciation to the one who created us. So this is similar to something that happened a while back. There was a picture of Anthony Joshua doing the same in Dubai. Now, just because they're praying doesn't mean that they have accepted Islam. We're not saying that, but the mere fact that you pray even if you're not a Muslim. Brother Andrew is very sincere and his heart is with Islam. Let me clarify a few things. Why did I record us pray? Because it helps to post positivity rather than post materialistic as I myself have been guilty of or waste of time things. He could have said no. He knows this can also have a negative effect on his already controversial status on social media, but he did this for himself. Wallahi, it was a private visit to the masjid, just me and him, and he wanted that. We planned it days ago, but he actually reminded me today to go. It was solely my idea to record. He didn't seek to impress a certain demographic. He wanted to do this and we did. I'm glad we did so people can see the real side of him. It's a way to motivate the younger kids to not be ashamed of being religious and praying. Respect this more than how tough you are or how much money you have, etc. This was the first time ever in a mosque and what a way to start his journey. Regarding his shahada, we agreed it shouldn't be shown on a podcast or anything because people will claim it's for clout or fake following. Nobody is perfect, but Alhamdulillah, the guy has a good heart and pure intentions. He is mobbed by people 24 seven financially super wealthy and has all the perks a man dreams of. But on a Saturday night, we both went to the masjid to pray, spoke in length about the Quran, hadiths, how the prophet peace be upon him, behaved, misconceptions of Islam and more. MashaAllah, to all those people speaking about the Shahada and all please allow the brother to just announce it how he wants and allow him to take his time. Change of lifestyle isn't a fast thing, but to accept the truth and believe it is vital. As we all know, tomorrow is never guaranteed. P.S. To those saying his praying technique is wrong, seriously, get a life. It's his first time and even then he is fully concentrated and asking intellectual questions, Alhamdulillah. I think it's great. Why not experience the Islamic way of showing your gratitude to Allah? What's the harm? You don't have to announce it to the world. You don't have to say anything. Andrew Tate's not going to be posting on his social medias. I was praying. This is something that, look, no matter what's going on outside, you should be able to have your own connection with God with Allah and this is where the salah or the prayer within Islam is so special because we claim that this religion has been sent to all of mankind therefore it should be accessible to all of mankind and how is this possible well number one you don't need any fancy equipment or peripheries all you need is water if you don't have water soil and these are the two main elements of planet earth this is what it specializes in, water and soil. If it doesn't have that, then it's not <laughs> planet Earth, it's some other planet. Yeah, you're probably on a distant planet somewhere. God knows what's going on. But if you're on Earth, these are the two elements. Number two, it's accessible. It's easy. You can be old, you can be young, no matter what age you are, Salah caters for you. You, you stand, you bow, you sit and you prostrate. These are very simple positions that we do, those people that have back problems or whatnot, Islam caters for them, they can sit on a chair and they can do it. If you can't even do that, you can lie down and you can just do the ishara, just the motions of prayer. That's how much, mashallah, Islam caters for this. And prayer is a means, is a way of you communicating with your Lord. It doesn't take that long, it's only like three, four minutes. It's very simple doesn't have anything fancy and this is how prayer should be if it is from God, if it is sent for everybody. 
<laughs> yeah when speaking to people of other faiths you know you have to roll on the floor you have to throw milk and all sorts of stuff it's not always accessible you might be thinking the pilgrimage the pilgrimage is not accessible but the pilgrimage is only obligatory for people that can afford it that are capable of doing it so people like Andrew Tate those of you that are watching that have stumbled upon this video I will tell you try it guys just type in how to pray in Islam tutorial and just follow it you don't have to tell me you don't have to tell anybody you don't have to create a video just it's a link between you and God and I wanted to mention one other thing you don't need an intermediary you don't need a priest yeah? you don't need a rabbi you don't need an imam this is something that you can do you have a Wi-Fi connection with God, the bars never go down. Yeah, here you have to be close to a mast or you know, if you're on a mountain, the signal gets weak. This signal between you and God never gets weak. Never gets weak. In fact, forget prayer, you can even raise your hands. A non-Muslim can raise their hands. If they were to pray against a believer because a believer has wronged them, God will even accept the prayer of the disbeliever. This is Islam. So this is called the supplication. You raise your hand, however, and you speak to God. You say, God, guide me. Guide me, help me. I don't know what's going on. And you can do this. So I get pleased when I hear people like Andrew Tate who are influential, that have an influence on people. People say, I don't care for celebrity except Islam. That's ridiculous, that's illogical. Of course you should care because they have an influence and they can influence many other people. Yeah, they have a platform. So seeing things like this makes me very happy and I pray that the reality of that prayer entered the heart of Andrew Tate because guidance is in the hands of Allah. And I pray that the prayer, the salah enters my heart and your heart as well because many of us pray and we're negligent. We're negligent. Yeah, so may Allah give us the reality of this prayer that after this prayer, you know, sometimes parents ask the kids, Have you prayed? Have you prayed? Have you prayed? No, don't ask them that. Ask them, How do you feel now that you've prayed? What do you feel you've accomplished? Ask them deeper questions about prayer, then prayer will seem deeper to them. If you ask them superficial questions about prayer, then prayer will seem superficial to them. Yeah, so this is something that we need to do as grown ups as well. <laughs> Let's leave it there. Inshallah, may Allah you know, grant Andrew Tate the gift of Islam. Pray for him and may Allah grant us the gift of understanding of Islam. Let's leave it there until next time. Assalamu alaikum.